Animal Crossing is amazing. I mean, it brought us together, so for that alone, it's brilliant. And the game will be awesome whether it's on a home console, a handheld, heck, a mobile phone, or even a board game. I would play the heck out of an AC-based board game. But what if Animal Crossing was on PS5? This week I've been fully immersed in the next generation of video games on the Xbox Series X and the PS5, and I gotta say it's a little weird to wander back to Animal Crossing after playing video games in gorgeous 4K, glistening graphics, vibrant colors, silky smooth gameplay, and performance that is oh so powerful. And so today I want to have the conversation with you. Would the next Animal Crossing benefit and actually be better if it was on a better system. What's going on everybody? It's Zach from Switch 4. Smash that like button and let me know your take in the comments down below. I want you to get those fingers clicky clacking. I want to hear if you think AC would benefit from a better system. And we're going to talk it out bit by bit because there's a lot to consider here. When AC New Horizons released, people were floored by how it looked. They were like, oh my gosh, cutest characters ever. Everybody looks brilliant. Everybody looks beautiful. The villagers are so cuddly. I can almost taste them. I love the way the world looks. Nintendo they're masterful. And remember, Nintendo doesn't need masterful power to make masterful games. They've done it for generations where they don't have the strongest box, but they usually have the strongest lineup because games aren't all about the visuals. They're a lot about the controller, the experience, playing with your friends and what kind of pure passion they put into the projects. And Nintendo hits home runs every time in almost all of those categories. Just ask Cranston. He loves it here. But graphically, man. Going from the PS5 to this, I'm like, would AC look wonderful in 4K? Would it look amazing if they had access to that much stronger of a GPU? And I have to say, I think it's it's a flip of the coin. On one hand, it would be really nice to see everybody looking amazing. And, you know, when you zoom in here, you can, you can see some of the jaggies. You can see some of the pixels. It's not pristine in any way. And there's definitely limitations, the animations. And look at the little hands. They're basically Lego balls. But at the same time, some of the charm of AC is that it's not completely detailed. This isn't a lifelike game. They're not trying to create perfect reflections on their high cheekbones. They're trying to create cute characters that people can fall in love with. But would you fall in love a little bit more if everyone was just glistening? If everyone was glowing? You know, that, that 5 o'clock perfect lighting that all the Instagram people want and maybe you do for your photos as well. Like, what if the game looked like that 24-7? I think graphics are a toss-up. Yes, it would look nicer, but I don't think it would add anything to the game. So then we move to some other factors that make PS5 stand out so much. And the one for me is the loads. And this is where AC would benefit so freaking much. I cannot tell you how relaxing and refreshing it is to have no loads. You know when you boot up Animal Crossing? It takes like a minute. And you know when you go to the freaking airport and you try to get to a mystery island? it takes like a minute. And when you try to fly to a friend's island, sometimes it takes like three minutes. This game is not a superstar in terms of optimization. It runs well, but like these screens, while they're not crazy inconveniences, you haven't lived until you played with no loads. It's, it's a miraculous experience. It's really wonderful. And fast travel feels like fast travel. I think Animal Crossing would be a much better game if Nintendo was able to get more oomph into the performance to push away the loads. That would be so nice. I mean, they could also push away the dialogue, but they could do that right now. Getting rid of the loads would be awesome. The online infrastructure would probably work a lot better as well. I'm good thanks with what we got, but I'd also be better if I did have more speed. Now, the PS5 has a really nifty controller, and I love the Pro Controller. You guys know it. It's one of my favorite controllers, but after playing with the DualSense for a while, you saw that you can connect this and play DualSense on Switch, which is wonderful, and, and I probably will go back to doing it because I love this guy. But the DualSense does more than just feel good in the hands. It also has haptic feedback and adaptive triggers. Now, Animal Crossing is a game that the details matter, right? We designed the heck out of our islands. We spent 800 hours finding the perfect villager cord. So I think a scenario where different paths felt different on the controller, because that's possible with the DualSense, right? As I play with the DualSense, if I'm walking over snow or grass or rock, it feels a little different. There are a little rumble all over the controller and they're able to direct that to make the experience feel more immersive. And I would love that. If I had a custom cobblestone path and I could feel my character walking over, I love the audio of AC, the little sounds your character makes on the different surfaces. But if I could feel that, I think that'd be super fun. Now, there really wouldn't be much use for the adaptive triggers. You're not really trying to shoot anything, except I guess you could get a little bit of tension uh, when you pull out your, where is my, hey, do I not even have, I don't even have a slingshot. What gives? When you pull out your slingshot, if I had one, 
you could use the adaptive triggers to get that tension, feel it like they're gonna use for bow and arrows and they do for guns in Call of Duty. But I don't know that that would add tons. Would it make the game a little bit better? Yes, but at the same time, I don't know that that's something fans write home about. I mean, you might write your mom since she writes you all the time, but you definitely wouldn't write your dad. He's never around. I do, however, think that overall optimized power and a bigger set of teraflops to fly with would open Animal Crossing to a much bigger world. Now, this is a beautiful game. And don't get me wrong, my island isn't even done with the space we have. But what's one thing people are always clamoring for? More, more, more. Bigger islands, mini games, more places and people to see. And I assure you that if Nintendo had access to that much more power, they could probably create a really awesome world. Okay, think about in Pokemon Sword and Shield how big some of those wild areas are. And I'm not saying that they couldn't do a similar thing right now, but I believe that Nintendo, while they do have their own tendencies, and I don't think they create like Skyrim on Switch with AC, but I think if they had more power, they would want to create some sort of Animal Crossing hub. They'd want to create some sort of Animal Crossing city. And imagine a wonderful festival island where you could go and interact with other friends, randoms, play mini games, shop, an Animal Crossing that expands, that uses the power to create a bigger world, a more unified Animal Crossing universe where the characters don't just have a tiny mystery island, but maybe they have a mystery ship. Maybe they have a mystery volcano. We could do and see and go so many more places and they could throw so much more on screen. The effects would be more dynamic. The mini games could involve so many elements. And I think that is where AC would benefit. Because look, at the end of the day, it's a cute game. Nobody's sitting here saying, AC looks ugly, I wish it looked better. And the loads are a nuisance, but they're not turning anyone away. This game is selling nearly 30 million copies thus far. And everybody enjoys the heck out of it. I mean, we're waiting with such bated breath for that November update. It feels like it's taking forever. And I'll admit, there's there's burnout or maybe it's freeze out because it is getting cold outside. So the loads aren't what's causing that. And then you think about something, uh, you know, like the online. I guess it's okay. It would be better. It would be nice. It would be nifty. But we're also totally content playing with the online we have. So it's really that extra performance power, that processing power that I think would elevate Animal Crossing in a new way, in a way that would significantly improve the game. So to answer the question, would AC benefit from a PS5? I think it could. Would Nintendo fully take advantage and create the massive world, the immersive system that we would want to see out of our game? I don't know, because they seem very resistant to do some of the things we'd love in this version. Brewster is nowhere to be found. The quality life updates do not come. And those are things Nintendo could do. They have their own game plan. They play by their own rules. And I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm not saying it's bad because I do love this game. It's my game of the year thus far. But I think, honestly, AC would still be Nintendo's style of game. And I don't know that more power on Nintendo's side would manifest that much different of an experience. I think they have curated this thing carefully so that they can draw it out over two to three years not give you everything up front, and slowly work you in to their system, get you excited about the little things, make you come back for more, and not really deliver necessarily the ultimate experience that they could deliver because their vision just looks a little bit different. But if a different company at Animal Crossing, if like Sony, oh my gosh, if Sony at Animal Crossing, this game would be insane and it would lose some of its charm. I'm sure it would potentially even lose some of its fun. It might even lose some of its success and some of its popularity, but it would be a stunner. So Nintendo, no, you don't need a PS5 to make Animal Crossing better. The graphics would be gorgeous, but they wouldn't get us any further. The controller would be nifty and nice and more immersive, but it wouldn't make me want to play anymore. It's the little things, Nintendo. It's the things that you can fix, like the quality of life, like the additions, like more outfits, a better Brewster descending upon our beautiful islands, mini games, and more opportunities to interact with our friends. You can do these things, Nintendo. So it's fun that at the end of the video, I come to the realization that Nintendo has all the capabilities in their hands to make this game better. They don't need a bigger, better console to do it. It would be interesting, it would be fun. But Nintendo, with what they got right now, can get the job done. They're just on their own path. And for that, we will be a little bit perplexed, but we also will be right alongside them Pedaling furiously, hoping to get 
to that late November update, and I got you covered as soon as it drops. But I want to hear your thoughts. Would AC be better on PS5? Do you disagree? Do you think, no, the game would be massively improved if it was on PS5? Or do you think, no, none of it is necessary? Graphics, controls, loads, that stuff is all small time in terms of what Animal Crossing is. Would Animal Crossing maybe lose something if it did perform perfectly, if it did look wonderful, if it did just ooze 4K crispness? Would it lose some of its charm? Give me your thoughts and smash that like button. Let me know in the comments everything you're thinking. I want to hear from you. Make sure you're staying safe, staying healthy, staying smart out there. Thanks for being a part of the channel. Check out XP Force and Ghost Robo if you want actual PS5 and Series X coverage and footage and videos. In the meantime, though, I appreciate you so much. I hope you're doing fantastic. Switch Force, out.